Today we are going to make the Helleborus, Helleborus uh, flower. It comes in so many different shades. White, pale pink, burgundy. So you can do it in any shades you like. Today I'm going to do it in white and tint it a little bit darker too. Uh, these are the items I'm going to use today. These are the colors I'll be using. Uh, edible art colors and some sugar flare colors as well and the burgundy sugar flare this is my talus glue split head stamens and a bunch of uh, fine stamens round tip paint brushes wire cutter rolling pin and ball tools and this is the cutter I'm going to use today and that's the vena, uh, it's a little tulip vena, a pair of scissors, pointed tool, uh, tweezer, something to cut, scalpel, um, pen, uh, it's a burgundy colored sugar flare pen if you don't have it's edible so if you don't have one I'll show you how to color later on with the alcohol and uh, burgundy powder color 33 gauge wire and we need some 22 and 18 gauge wires and some green uh, 22 gauge wire for the leaves and this is the leaf vein I'm going to use double sided and uh, foam pad and I always make my own paste, flour paste, and uh, it's white. And I need some green for the calyx, um, the leaf, and the flower center. I already colored with a little bit of gooseberry green, or you can use spruce green. We are going to start making them soon. Okay, I'm going to start with the center of the flower. So for that, we need a pale green uh, stem text. Cut a small piece and cut into four sections. And then you twist them nice and tight. Because each flower has got a little uh, four pieces in the middle some of them has got three some of them has got five so most of them has got four so I'm going to do four just give it a little twist it's a beautiful flower you can do you can arrange with any other flower, mix them with any other flowers for floral arrangements or you can use it on a cake special cakes, wedding cakes any occasion Last one. I always like to make flowers from fresh flowers. Uh, I pull them apart and then I work on the cutters. Sometimes the exact size doesn't work so I adjust accordingly to suit my need. This time of the year it's winter and this flower is called winter rose normally for Christmas other countries that people use it during Christmas time it comes out but here in Australia it's in July it's winter for us okay 
Can you all see that? Four pieces. Then get a 22 gauge wire. Cut in half. Place it in the middle. So that's our center of your flower, the middle part. Then the next part, I can't take a bunch of um, stamens, the small round tip, cut it with the paper. It's easy to handle when you have with the paper on. What I do, I put one, so this has to be a little bit longer than the stamen. Place it, one on one side and the other one on the other side. And take half with stem text. tape it together. So you can see that the middle part is in the middle and sticking out a little bit. Then I take the split head stamens, say about five pieces at a time, five or six pieces. Take up five. Fold it in half. place it together and then you can open them up a little bit then tape that's on one side and another five pieces on the other side and then open them up Take another five. You can put less or more. Some of them has got plenty. Some of them has got few. So you can put any number you want. And depends on the size of your flower too. I'm making the exact size of the flower that I had in my garden. Okay. Tape together. Nice and tight. Then we can open them up. see that and then the next part it has got little green uh, I don't know whether they are calyx or 
something like that around it before the petals all right so i'm going to show you how to do that before that we have to color this to color i'm going to use Uh, honeysuckle or parchment uh, edible art or you can use sugar flare uh, any brand doesn't matter and bit of green uh, you can use autumn green ginkgo either one ginkgo or autumn green I'm using autumn green so sorry uh, yellow first so tint the tips in that creamy color when the flower is a bit old all these stamens they drop off and in the middle you get the seed pod coming so I'll be showing the seed pod later on how to make them too all around green okay now I'm going to show you all how to do the green part So get your green icing and make into a little long sausage. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut slits in between. You can cut any number can wrap around and then see how many you need and then you can cut the rest off okay now I'll put it onto my blue foam pad and I take my small ball tool go around the edge thin down the edge and then go in the middle and then you cup it do each one this one you can even do one by one make it do a little cone and then wrap it around uh, make little cones and then you can stick around the uh, center but this is quick and easy way 
I always try to do different methods how we can do it faster so I found this way better but it's up to you uh, any way you want you can do it The next part, I take my tweezer. Before that, I apply a bit of glue. And then take my tweezers and I pinch. So you get a little cut effect. That's what we are after. Okay. Right. Can you see that? Now, next part, apply a bit of glue over here, the base. Fit this, and you wrap it around it. So when you do, it falls into the gaps, one into the other one. So you can do two rows, or you can do three rows. Some has got plenty, some has got few. So it doesn't matter how many you want to put, you can. Okay. And then when you finish, just give it a good push, pinch together and then take your pointer tool and arrange them in between so it sits nicely in between there
sometimes they turn around so all you do is move them if you have enough time to work on that Then whatever icing excess, you just drag it out. So you can see one that I did before. If you want, you can open them up a bit more. Okay. All right, and then you can leave them to stand up to dry. And now we are going to start with the petals. You can see the paste, long sausage. So this way you can do many petals in wire, many petals in one go. Long strip, and then I go this way. If you have a pasta machine, you can use it at the pasta machine and get it nice and thin. possible So whenever I'm doubling up my petal to folding up, I'll turn it the other way around so the bottom part is a bit more moist so it will the petal will stick better. So turn it over and you cut one length of wire, 33 gauge wire, into five. So for this flower we need five pieces, so you can cut five or more if you want to do more. Okay, and then what I do, I apply my glue onto my wire and you place them from one end. space it out so you can you will have enough room for the next one you can put it straight or you can put it at an angle any way you like I can fit one more so this way it's quicker when you want to do many petals in one go. You can do it this way. Alright, and then you take the other piece and you cover. Okay. 
just gently press so it will stick and then carefully lift it take your rolling pin don't go on the wire just a little further out stretch it out and so the icing will stick together okay and leave in the middle thick don't go over the wire and then you can cut so that is one petal you can see then. so easy to wire if you uh, can't wire your petals properly this is one way of doing it Sometimes you can push it through, sometimes you can't. Okay. okay. I have done them all. So you can cut the whole lot. Even when you are doing the leaves, uh, various leaves, if you want to do many small little ones, this is another quick way of uh, doing them. You can see I have already got seven pieces at one go. If you do it long again, you can do more. going to do take my ball tool go around the edge of my petals thin then thin the edges One more to go. Okay. Now, once that is finished, take my vena, put it on my vena, and I press. See, gives that shape instantly and then I take my pointed tool put it over put it to the right side and then just slightly you pinch the middle so it gives that ridge in the middle see at the back it's gone in out so that has to be there then take your ball tool or you can use your this tool go around the edge so it gives that curve can you see that it gives that curve and you can pinch so some of them are going out some variety will be coming in so you can do any way you like again okay so you can pinch them out some 
give a little bit of moment so it gives that uh, natural look okay and then put it onto your former to dry do the same thing on all of them Turn over, close the back. Give a bit of curve. You can bring it in or out. Any way you like. have that shape don't forget it has got that cupped effect just only over here don't go up here okay now I'm going to show you all how to make the center of the uh, almost few days old uh, flower so the, with the seed pod in the middle not with the stamens they're all dry and they fall out and then uh, the seed pods keeps forming so we are going to do that I'm going to show you how to do that some of them has got three some of them has got five some has got more than five so you can put any number you want uh, I'm going to put five today so apply the glue 33 gauge wire, tiny little ball of paste, push it through the center and then work up a little bit of paste, do it as thin as possible. and then hold it down hold it down and then you pinch on the edge of that can you all see that and then this has to come where you pinched a little curve not straight give a bit of character to it so you need five of them or more or three so take a 22 gauge wire and your half with stem text place facing the fat end together and tape it and then fit the others in between
down. This is how they are. So all the stamens have dropped, dropped and the seed pods have formed. Okay, so that is ready. Now we have to color that and I'll show you in a minute how to color the petals and then we'll color them too. Just a bit, little bit of foliage green, a bit of autumn green. And then burgundy or dogwood. And if you want a dark one, you can use jasperry or similar. Okay. Now on to my ones. I'm going to mix a little bit of green with the honeysuckle that I had before. And I'm going to paint in between. Yeah, pale inside. And then take your, some of them are green, some of them are burgundy color. So you can use any, just a touch on the edge of the. Okay, can you all see that? Touch of color. And the tips, you can make it a bit more grainy. Or you can put burgundy even. Doesn't matter any. Some of them are dark, some of them are grainy. Okay, so that's all we do for the dried, almost uh, finished flower but the petals will be still the same right now we are going to color the petals okay so take your green again a little bit of pale green the green mix with the touch of darker okay and then back a bit more darker than that so I add a bit more in the middle and then just go up a little bit okay and then I take my if you want the dark one if it is white one you can bring the green a little bit more and then that's it and then on the edge you can put like this a little bit of burgundy that's all you put for your white one if it is white one you can just leave it otherwise you can put only on the edge a little bit of that color okay now I'm going to if you want same way you can do but I'm going to make it a bit darker so how I'm doing it go from the tip from the top edge and go down. I'm 
and same thing at the back too. I'm going to put the burgundy a little bit more. So I want it a bit darker. Only the edges. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to color. I put mark the dots with my pen. You can use uh, alcohol and uh, mix a little bit of burgundy and uh, put little dots with your brush or with a uh, toothpick. I'll show you in a minute that way too. So some of them has got few, some of Okay, now I'm going to show you how to put the dots without the um, pen. So in a small container, a little bit of powder and mix a little bit of raw spirit, alcohol, few drops and make into a little uh, bit of paste, not too runny. And take a toothpick, just rub it and make it a bit blunt, not too sharp. And then mix it up. And take your petal. So if you don't have a pen, you can do this way too. Okay, so this is a white one. If you want to do a white one, then touch of green and then a little bit of green and the same, but no dots at the back, only in the front. Okay, so we are going to put them together now, show how to do it. Now for this, I'm taking full width tape. it okay bend your petal right at the end and place it put all five petals. Now you bring them tape down, nice and tight. We can adjust it later, the top. The 
closed ones are a bit closed like that so you can do them however you want if they want, want it open just bring them up down a little bit okay and then these are bent down a little bit they always bend down that's how they are okay so if it is this one what we do no other center ones you just put this one together like that same way we did that you just put them like that so I have got one already made so you can see here I have put the green instead of the burgundy at the tip so that's the finished uh, flower a few days old when they get older with this center so you can see the difference between this and that and here's another flower that I have so with the touch of burgundy around it and you can see the difference they come in all different colors so this is one color this is almost finished dry a few days old old flower and that's a fresh one too okay so you can make any way you want now our next one I'm going to show you all how to do the calyx uh, for each flower you have got some of them has got big ones some of them has got smaller ones so I'll show you how to do the bud and the leaves next okay now to do the buds Now to do the bats we need white icing make it a nice little ball a little bit over and uh, 18 uh, not 18 sorry uh, 22 gauge wire and then I always strengthen it later or 20 gauge wire I'm using 20 gauge wire make a little hook I always like to make an open hook and then apply a little bit of glue Talos glue And you push this through. And shape it. Not too pointy at the top. They are a bit rounded. And then take your stem text. Tape it. then take your pointed tool they're almost cut like so you will see one side mark it and then another one slightly going down then mark a few lines and when you color you will see all those markings a little bit but not much and then you bend this 
this one over. That's how they are. They're always bent down. So that's the part. Okay. Now we are going to start on the leaves. Now for the leaves you can use cutters or you can do without cutters. If you have the lily cutter, uh, you can use your lily cutter. If you don't have a lily cutter, you can do without it. I'm going to show different methods of doing the leaves. Now this flower has got large leaves. You can make them small if you want to. Uh, when I looked at the actual leaf, they are really large. So you have to make all different size leaves. Have to, and then apply some glue onto your wire. Pass this through the center. And then work up. So the base I want it a bit finer. Then go up a little. Then you so that shape. Okay, and then I just press it down a little bit till I can see the wire. I can see the wire going through, and then I go from there. Don't go over the wire. Leave that part thick and roll it out. Okay. Now I take my knife. Now at this stage, if you have a cutter, lily cutter, you can cut with your lily cutter. Uh, I have, but I'm going to show you all without. Go out, okay, now the leaves, so after you finish cutting it, put it onto your Vena. Place it on and you press get your end and then Thin down the edge. It has got serrated edge, so what I do, I cut little nips. So all around, just tiny little cut. They are really sharp. Okay, then the other side.
once you finish cutting them up, you can see, turn to your back, take your pointed tool, because they are very sharp and pointy, just at the tip, press and pull in, just on the edge only, at the tip only, don't go too much in. you can see that quite sharp gives that a nice neat edge okay and then you bring it up turn to your back, put your ball tool and just curve it, don't mark it, don't press too hard, just hold the wire and bend your wire so it gives that curve and give a little bit of moment. And make few different sizes. So let that if that is the big one, then make uh, altogether six um, or seven leaves. Uh, you can make so gradually small. Let this be the big one, and then smaller on either sides. Gradually you bring it down. Now. The next one I'm going to do is the little calyxes to go on top of the uh, flower and the uh, bud. Show you one. So something like that. Some has got little piece underneath, as you can see. So some are big, some are small. So we are going to make them now. I'm going to use 24 gauge wire for this. Take a little apply the glue. Again, I'm going to do freehand without a cutter. If you want to, you can use your peony rose uh, leaf cutter for this if you have one. Otherwise, you can do the same what I'm doing now. Again, you can do them all different sizes. Yes. Now what I'm going to do here, put it this way and you cut into it, see, and then cut another one going in. shape it 
and turn it over. You can cut it another little one. Some you can have it like this, this shape. Some you can even cut it straight across. So you can have three prongs or you can have two. I'll do another one as well after I finish this. And then put it over. Ball tool around. Thin down the edge. Now for this, if you want to, you can vein it. But uh, the young ones doesn't have that much deep vein on them. So what I did was take your tool, go in the middle, and then on the side. And they are very fine veins. So. Okay, and you can do a few little ones. Just that's enough. And then what you do, you bring them in. Then, as I mentioned before, hold your wire, bend. Give a bit of twist and turn. So there you have your leaf. Uh, tiny ones that can go on top like that. So you can have two or you can have three. Even for the flower you can do the same thing. It can be this size or even bigger. And then we are going to color. Uh, I'll show you at the end. Uh, maybe I'll do one, one more small one. Two prong one. I'm going to show you all how to color the leaves. Uh, what I do uh, first, just a little bit of uh, ginkgo or kiwi or autumn green in the middle. the rainforest and a little bit of foliage green mix them together they are quite dark well, not too dark, but very little. Lighter at the back. And then take your burgundy at the base, a bit of burgundy. Take your stem tags, cover your wire, and put 
to be took back and deal with here too. And uh, we have got the little leaves, same thing, put a bit of green, but they are a bit lighter, so you put more of the uh, autumn green and touch of dark green. well okay once you finish that same way we did for the other one touch of burgundy the base and again here some variety of the darker colors has got a touch of burgundy at the tips of this so just go around the edge they're quite dark deep dark okay all right now I'm going to show you how to glaze it. So to glaze I'm using one part uh, leaf glaze to three parts of alcohol. It's a normal spray bottle you can get from any uh, retail shops. Uh, it's very fine spray, you can see. And then how I do it. So just once you finish you can steam it and leave it to dry and then spray or you can do it straight. don't do the back just leave it to dry like that this also has got it there so we leave them to dry once you finish don't forget to wipe the bottle tip where the spray comes, otherwise it dries and can block. Right. Now I'm going to show you how to put that together. I've already got some here. So this is what we are going to do. Okay, I forgot to cover this. So just a little bit of green. On the bud as well. Got that. The base of that. At the tip, and 
going to put together. Take a narrow one and replace it there. Close to it where the bend is. You can have two or you can have one. You can have three if you want to. So they come on either side like that. Then tape them together. We are going to do the flower. When I do the flower, I take the full width, put your leaf on the just a little bit below. You can have big one or small one. You can have more. Okay, we are going to put the leaves together. I can see small ones and then the big one. Then I have got another bit large one. Twisted and turned around. What I'm going to do now take the flower and then you can place the bud first. And you can have another bud if you want to. If you want, you can. Add this to them together and then put your leaf underneath down
Okay, this is how we put them together. And if you want, you can put another set of leaves around there. in a vase or in an arrangement these all white ones you can see hope you can make one like that <laughs> 